of South Florida are trying to set an example for all graduates this month. Don't forget where you came from. The Black Leadership Network kicked off another semester with a visit from community leaders who know what it's like to wear the green and the gold. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has the inspirational story. Once a month, Curtin students and alumni come together as one group and literally grab the bull by the horns at USF for the Black Leadership Network. Go Wolf! Ashley Butler and Andrick Frazier know firsthand the challenges first-generation African-American college students face. You don't know where a kid is getting their last meal. You don't understand where the housing situations are. You could complain about things or you can get up and do something. And so what we decided to do was we were going to do something. So in 2016, the two USF alumni, now both successful Tampa Bay business leaders, founded the Black Leadership Network. We wanted to make sure that finances were not an obstacle for black students that wanted to attend the University of South Florida. Since its inception, BLN has provided scholarships to 127 students, thanks to the generosity of individual donors many of them USF alum. The USF Black Leadership Network has made my journey affordable. <laughs> but BLN provides a lot more than just money. If you have resources, if you have knowledge, it is your duty to bring it back to the family, to bring it back to the table. BLN connects students with leaders from across the African American community. It is very uplifting to see somebody that looks like you that's kind of went through the similar programs and you know made success out of that and really reaching back to help you do the same thing. We want to make sure that our meetings are open and accessible for all African American students here on the USF campus. We really are seeking to create this support system, this safe space. And these students say they can't wait until they return as alumni someday. It's amazing. In fact, we have someone that graduated not too long ago and he already became a donor himself. So it's inspiring me to do the same thing. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News. Get a check of your weather.